हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू शॉर्ट हैंड गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल तो आज का जो डिक्टेशन है वो इंग्लिश में है जो कि पहला डिक्टेशन है चैनल का इंग्लिश में तो आप लोग कमेंट करके जरूर बताइएगा कि डिक्टेशन कैसा लगा आप लोगों को और आप लोग डिक्टेशन लिखने के बाद कमेंट में ये भी जरूर बताइएगा कि आपकी कितनी मिस्टेक्स आ रही हैं और इसकी पी वीडियो के ही एंड में, में भी मैंने लगा दिया है और साथ ही में हमारा जो फेसबुक का ग्रुप है उसमें भी पी आपको मिल जाएगी तो चाहे आप इस वीडियो के एंड से या फिर आप तो हमारे फेसबुक के ग्रुप से कहीं से भी आप पी देख सकते हैं और मिला सकते हैं आपकी कितनी रर आ रही हैं तो चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं आज का डिक्टेशन रेडी स्टार्ट सर सेवरल क्वेश्चंस रेस्ड रिकॉर्डिंग द डिफेंस मिनिस्ट्री एंड द एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स एंड इरिगेशन मिनिस्ट्रीज हैव बीन क्लियरिफाइड बाई माई कॉलेजियस फ्रॉम those ministries my task therefore has been simplified to that extent before i go to the question financial and economic raised by several honorable members i should like to clarify one or two points which are more administrative than economic or financial one of them was raised by my honorable friend he raised the question about the recruitment by the assistant superintendents departmental competitive examination and particularly about the examination held in 1960 he said that about rupees 6 lakhs were spent for the 1960 examination and later it was declared that no vacancies were available he therefore suggested that a definite procedure should be there and the examination should be held according to the vacancies declared in advance and all persons who have qualified in the examination should be eligible for promotion or for appointment sir i do not know whether the honorable member knows how to these vacancies are filled he probably refers to the section officers grade in the central secretariat service this is filled 50% by direct recruitment and 25% by departmental competitive examination open to the assistants the next lower grade and the rest 25% by promotion of the assistants on the basis of seniority subject to fitness the examination therefore that he was referring to was a departmental competitive examination for filling 25% of the vacancies it takes about 1 year for the union public service commission to declare the results of the examinations form the time they take up the question of the examination it is not therefore possible to declare the number of vacancies to be filled in from the very beginning to declare them just when the results are out is more realistic and that is what is done sir if the examination is treated as qualifying examination the number of persons who will thus become eligible for the appointment will be quite unrelated to the number of vacancies to be filled in and 
then the very situation which the honorable member wishes to avoid would arise it would not then be possible to hold any of the examinations at regular intervals and promotions against this quota would become very fitful the honorable member also suggested that the rules for recruitment and promotion etc should be uniform for all ministries whether participating in the central secretariat service scheme or not it must be and this is so except for the ministry of external affairs and the railways these have different rules but these rules are very much similar and there is not much difference but because these persons are recruited for different purpose and by different agencies they are separate therefore his purpose in saying that there should be uniformity is almost carried out the only difference is that the ministry of home affairs does not control the service in these two ministries then sir questions were raised about backward areas and the backward states and also about the city of calcutta if the budget is properly scrutinized it would be found that assistance is provided for the states particularly the backward states and the finance commission which assesses the overall recruitments of the states takes this into consideration and makes its recommendations which are carried out every time the finance commission's recommendations are received and they are receives periodically according to the constitution sir i would like to give the total amount paid to the states on this account the main objective of planning is to create conditions in which living standards are raised in a sufficiently reasonable level and all citizens are given full and equal opportunity for growth and service the plans seek to provide a balanced emphasis on increase the production and employment the development plans are thus accepted as the means for ensuring equitable development in the field of social services there is no reason to suppose that the needs of the less fortunate or prosperous states are being neglected but it would not be proper to expect that all these differences could be wiped out now immediately it must be seen whether we are going towards that very end or not we are deliberately going towards that end and we hope and trust that in course of time these inequalities would be 
wiped out if not completely wiped out at any rate they would be lessened my honorable friend complained about in adequate provision included in the plan for meeting the growing requirements of the city of calcutta were even the basic service it water supply sewage disposal and drainage were not being augmented and that the central government was not enthusiastic about solving these difficulties